Hello everyone and good morning and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today I have a little gift for you. I made a video and the link is now down in the info. Uh, if you click uh, in the info, you will see a drive google.com. Uh, please click at the video, watch and download. I want this video to be everywhere. This is a gift from me for the Abdul. Try, try. Let us see if you win. To watch it and not to sweat from laughing. So <clears throat> I want everybody, if you don't mind, to click at the link below under the screen, under the video, and to download the video and share it everywhere. I'm drinking my coffee right now. I hope, uh, I wish. You guys can be with me here, having some coffee together will be fun. And we have a lot of things to laugh at. And actually, you know, for those who are asking me about the debate between, uh, because I keep receiving messages about David Wood and this guy, uh, uh, Hijab. Uh, this is the best debate ever I, I watched for many years. Because I never saw a Muslim saying the stupid things as much this guy. So he gave me material to make videos about it for the coming maybe three months. But because it's too much stupidity, you know, uh, I cannot make a videos about it in one day, you know. So we will make it. Uh, I will try to make some short videos about things he said, and we will and we will die laughing at his stupidity. It's against Islam. It's false. It's hypocrisy. It's his stupidity. And yet he was bragging about himself and speaking Arabic and he was uh, David Wood shall I teach you Hebrew you don't know Arabic but you don't even know Hebrew <laughs> brother <laughs> oh boy so we got a great opportunity by this DB this is why I want to say thank you to David Wood like I don't really talk to this guy David Wood I never met him I don't know him uh, but I want to say to David Wood, thank you because you gave us a comedy show. Maybe he don't mean it. I mean, I don't. Uh, I, I don't think it, it's not. It's not David Wood who made the comedy show. But be, by accepting to debate this guy, we have a lot of things to laugh at. And now this guy, not only he will be scared to debate me, he will scare even to debate any Christians. Because any Christian who will watch my videos, which I will make, he will question him, how do you say that, you idiot? How dare you to say what you just said? Did you just say that? <laughs> they brought us a guy from the circus, and they taught us he can walk in the, in the rope. This guy, he did not walk in the rope, my friend. He put the rope around his neck. This guy, he just destroyed his prophet, destroyed his Quran, destroyed his religion, proving to us that Islam is a stupid religion and false religion. This is why I'm happy to have it. <clears throat> and that's why I download the, you know, I download the video right away because I'm afraid that later this guy, he might do editing to it and try to take 90% of, uh, of the debate. You know, I have, I have a history of Muslims when, when you debate them. Uh, as an example, <clears throat> do you remember the, the, the lady who called me with voice message, uh, voice uh, mask, two days ago? Do you remember? Someone called me using voice mask software. That was Nader Ahmad. Nader Ahmad, he make a videos, he would have challenged me, but he don't dare to call me. And he wanted to mention his name in my show, right? Okay, so how he can do that? So he make a voice of a woman. <laughs> this guy, one day I debated him. It was not a debate, really. It was like a shish kebab. And then the guy, he published in his website a debate between me and him. And I was saying, really? He died? Wow, this guy is really so brave. And then in the, I went to his website to, to download the video. In the, in the website, it says, anything, any insult, any accusation against the prophet, Christian Prince said, we took it off. So what is left of the debate? The whole debate is against the prophet. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, this is the full debate. 
But any accusation, brother, made by a Christian prince against the prophet, we took it off. Thank you very much. So what is left of the debate? We were debating about Muhammad having sex with the goat. If you took any accusation against the prophet of, there is nothing left, my friend. This is why I downloaded the video of hijab right away because later he might take off all the stupid things. They have a history of that, you know. How many of you click at the link down in the in the in the Google Drive? Give me one, please, if you click it already. Just tell me it's working. <clears throat> is the link working for you? For the new I think in the Google Drive down in the info, please. There is a video there. And if you do not know how to download in the site in the top, it says download the video. You can download it easy. All right. Download it and share it and let everybody see what happened in that debate. It is a disaster. All right. It is a truly a disaster. Those those Muslims, they have no idea what this guy did. And they think that he demolished uh, 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 brotherhood. You know, would uh, you see? There's a there's a problem with the with the uh, with us when we debate Muslims. We are we are very kind. We are very kind, and the Muslim they understand the kindness, not as you think. You see, like you. Like I just saw a Muslim, he says to me in the text, isn't it Jesus said, love your enemy? So why are you are cursing them? I never curse any Muslim, show us. Where are we curse them? If I call you a donkey, I'm not cursing you. I'm insulting donkeys. Well, you speak like a donkey, you are a donkey, and donkeys that get upset from me, and I get sued. So if we go in the Quran, just to explain to you the mentality of this cult, how evil it is. Your kindness always explained for the Muslims that Allah, he cursed you and he made you nice. It's not you who is nice. It's a curse. It is a curse. Chapter 3, verse 112. You can read any translation you wish. It is the curse of Allah who made you act nice as a humiliation for you. It is not because you are good. Do you see it? Is the, is the text clear, guys? So when you act nice with them, that make them believe that the Quran is telling the truth. You are not nice because Jesus said, love your enemy. No, no, no. This, they don't believe in that. They believe it was Allah cursing you. This is why those people, you have to treat them differently, my friend. Because they, they take advantage of your kindness. So always when Muslims, they debate the Christians, the Christian person, he is very polite. He is very, etc. I mean, okay, polite, but I'm not going to be polite with the devil. Somebody following the devil. All of, obviously, look at the look at the way they talk. If, if you go in the debate, all of it is just about how to mock this person who they invited them. I mean, if I invite my a place a, a person to my house, the one who's hosting the event is the Muslims. So why they are mocking the guy, the guest? You invite someone to your house, and you are, you, you know we smash your boy. I mean this and this is supposed to be an official debate. You know, this, you are just a kid. This is not like a, a, a chat in the internet. So they do not know how to answer you, and they have a lot of anger from this guy, David Wood, because he humiliated their prophet, and he got him busted. So what we would do, let us try to do a mockery of him. And the mockery, it turns for our benefit. Yes, maybe they laugh for a moment, but let us see when they watch the video down in the info how much the Muslims will laugh. <laughs> how many of you click at the, at the link? Tell me, tell me, please, how many of you click at the link? Hmm. <clears throat> My friend, anyone the Muslims are angry from him, it's mean he is doing something right. 
as simple as that the only way for Muslims to like me if I became one of them and the second you see Muslims they like David Wood or they like me it's mean we became a piece of garbage and there's nothing to listen to all right and actually if you notice somebody told me I did not watch the whole thing because I'm sure a lot of things I, you know I'm telling you I think I have a videos to make for the coming maybe a few months because of this uh, stupid uh, hijab he gave me a priceless opportunity to, to expose Islam but I somebody told me that he said he respect uh, uh, what his name James White did he say that anybody heard it did he say he respect because this is what somebody said uh, said to me I did not hear it so I'm not sure he said he respect James White the second the Muslim they start about praising you respecting you it's mean there's something wrong with you you know what I mean this is how you scale you see uh, how we can make the devil happy I mean if you imagine the devil saying to uh, to Christian friends Christian friends I like what you do what does that tell you is it obvious that obviously you are doing the, the act of the devil just today a Muslim guy he attacked a bunch of people walking in the street women and children in Australia in Melbourne in the name of Allah they want to tell us they have one God they have ten God who care about how many God you have you have the most ugly disgusting God ever Right? Who care about you know the, the Muslims always they focus in a silly stupid stuff. We have one God. So what if you have one God? Let's say you have one God. Okay, and what is the God you have? Muhammad, you're a prophet. He never saw his God. He never spoke to his God. He never heard the fault of your God. Have you ever heard of a God? He never want to speak to his prophet. Hmm? Brothers and sisters. I want to tell you something. I became a prophet of brothers, and yesterday at the end of the bridge, he came to me and he squeezed me. And maybe you noticed today, brother, that my voice is different because I'm being squeezed. Uh, the angel Jibreel he squeezed Muhammad for for sake of what activation, and after squeezing him three times, any Muslim can explain to us what happened next. Okay, now we got the prophet squeezed. We, we huh? After the squeezing, did anything change? You know, this is the question we keep asking Muslim: Why the angel is Muhammad? Um, what what happened? He became a prophet after squeezing. He became smart. What the meant, you see, anything come from God should have a reason. So now we have a guy, his name Muhammad, claiming that there's a game and he did squeeze him. Okay, after screen, what happened? What the purpose of squeezing? Who is a Muslim only? Did the no the story? And why he squeezed him three times, four times about one? This is like five. I mean, we should make it short. Voice is breaking. Strange, my friend, must be YouTube because my internet is very fast. You know, I, I, I bought internet from Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure why. Is it better now? Hello? Do you hear me now? Hello? Okay. Well, I don't know, that's weird because, you know, I have a, I have a cable, you know, uh, I am a pirate uh, and I, I, I hook up my cable to a, sh a ship uh, coming through the uh, Caribbean island next to Somalia. Uh, by the way, I'm thinking to move to Somalia. Peaceful countries. Every day there's a bomb. 
Every day there is suicide attack in Afghanistan, in Somalia, in Iraq. I mean, uh, Islam is a, is a beast. Islam is a beast. If a guy, he carry a gun or he start, you know, you see the, the crimes happen everywhere. Crimes happen everywhere in every country. That's not really uh, 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 what we are talking about. But there's a different kind of crimes where they are done to people. You don't know them just because they are not from your religion. That is Islam. You will never see a Buddha guy carrying a sword and he attack a bunch of people who they are walking in the street. They are Christians or Muslims or in whatever, just because they don't believe in his religion. We never heard of one. A legendary Faris, you were discussed with me, my friend. Okay, you wanna call me? Faris? You wanna call me? Okay, let me open my sky for you. By the way, let me introduce to you, uh, Brother Faris. According to scientific study, he is the best between all his brothers in his family. But by the way, his family have only one kid. He is the best between them. Uh, I mean, what we can say, the scientific studies is that he is the best. It doesn't matter really if he is, uh, there's no other boys in the family, but still he's the, you have to admit, call me Faris. <clears throat> text me, text me Faris. All right. Christian kid and converted by sword. This is a big fat lie, my friend. The first time the Christians they carry a sword to fight is after the Muslims invade us. That is called the Crusade. It was not the Christians who attacked Mecca and they never did. It was Muhammad who sent the three letters, according to Muslims, to three kings and saying, convert or die. It is Muhammad who said to his men, attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. Well, this is why he don't dare to debate me. How many of you did they click at the link down there? Please don't forget to share the link down in the info and to download the video. Share it around. It's a comedy. You will die laughing. Trust me. I am not responsible if you have a heart attack. Hmm? I am not responsible. You want source? Let us wait for uh, Faris. I will make you. I will make him read for you. Faris is a, is a Muslim who speak Arabic, and I will make him read for you how Muhammad. <clears throat> no, I did not have a uh, you know cold, but you know. Do you think when I finish the broadcast, I'm done? Talking to people in private. I talk to a woman and her husband. Both they are Muslims. We spend hours talking. Um, you guys, you think I finish here and I'm done, right? And do you know how many videos I made yesterday? And you are blaming me why I have a voice, uh, you know? Hmm? Then you tell a prophet, Kalamiti, Quran 64. I don't know what you are talking about, Alisa. What Kalamiti? What does that mean? What, what the word can I mean? <clears throat> uh, don't worry, I'm very fine. I'm very fine, brother. We, we the kind of a prophets, a uh, grave cannot consume us, brother. What? Did, did Muhammad say that? That prophets, the, the ground cannot eat their body, they will stay preserved. And what happened then? The Muslims, they did not bury Muhammad for three days. <laughs> Believe in him that he is telling the truth. <laughs> three days and Muhammad did not go to the grave. And then Muhammad, his belly start farting. And the people they start disgusted by his smell. 
his nails became a green and blue and yet Muhammad is still as a prophet is it this is enough to prove that Muhammad is a scam how he say that we the prophet the ground does not eat our flesh and then we find that he is composed Any Muslim can tell us why you Muslim did not bury your prophet for three days. What you were expecting? You were expecting him to come back to life like Jesus? Hmm? Why you buried him only after he start farting? Huh? Please explain to me the song of song. Okay, I will explain to you. But brother, do you want the song of songs explanation of the that or my explanation? The Abdul who's asking me to explain the song of song. Do you want the explanation of the that or my explanation, my friend? Which one you want? Hello? Tell me which one you like. The that explanation for song of songs or my explanation? You guys, why you are saying my voice is not clear? What's happening here? Anybody can tell me? Do you guys hear me? I hear the wife. Here we go. Then he found me something interesting. Ben, Ben, what about you find me a wife, my friend? Tell your wife to find me a wife. <laughs> uh What he said hold on Muhammad is a prophet okay thank you so he won the interpretation of Muhammad, uh, Muhammad did that you asked for it not me did that he said many years before that the song of songs is a porno book <laughs> hold on hold on I mean show respect did that he have tons of videos in YouTube saying that the song of songs are, are into a shame to to, tell, to read this for your children few years after Ahmad did that he received a message from Abdul saying to him do you know that in the song of song this says Muhammadim nadam badam nadam nadam, and speaking about the Prophet Muhammad upon night suddenly what was the porn book it became a holy book speaking about the Prophet True story, Mr. Bean. You Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites. How, how? <laughs> guys, guys, it's not from my side. It's not from my side. No way, it's from my side. Because my, my internet speed is very, very, very good. Okay? Let, let me measure my speed. I'm using... A cable connected directly to Jibril. And you know Jibril how fast. Okay. Let me measure my speed. I'm paying a lot extra. See, it is 112 Mbps. I don't know what does that mean. I think it is a uh, um, uh, mashallah, bismillah. Uh, a, a bullshit. Excuse me, English. I don't know. I'm trying to find out with my poor English what what does that mean. See, I have right now 117. I just measure it, so it's really very fast. So this is must be uh, YouTube. Yeah, I think based on the server you are listening from. All right. Now, where is uh, where is the Abdul who wanna say to me? I mean, or the the interpretation for the song of songs according to the that. How the how the same the same song? We did not change the song yet. I mean, wait until we change it. Don't you say that the Muslim Christians you corrupt the book every few years? A brother said that if you read the interpretation of the Bible, you will see they are different. You stupid. This is why they are called different interpretation. This is the proof that they are changing the Bible. What what, what changing the Bible, Abdul? You yourself, you have many inter many interpretation. You have many translation. 
if the translation of Yusuf Ali is exactly the same as the translation of Bikta, then there is no need for two translation. So why we have two translator? Because it's a two translation, they are different. Does that mean you are changing the book, you liar? They say to you, which version of the of the Bible you are uh, uh, reading from? Version. This is a translation. This is what we meant by word. Like, what what does that mean? It is just a translation. You can translate too. Now. <clears throat> But you know, look like uh, the one who made the song of song. <coughs> he has nothing to do except thinking about Muhammad. He was talking about the breast of Muhammad. As long as the song of song is about Muhammad, he can. He was imagining that Muhammad he have a grass in his breast. You know, the Muslim they say to you, this is obvious. It's about the women. Have you ever heard of a woman have a grass in her chest? Mean. That's so sexy. Abdul, do we have any Abdul here? Hello, what happened to this guy, Faris? Why I am rude? I don't know. I mean, ask, ask, ask the one who made me, God, hey, God, why I'm rude? Uh, because I made you this way. Why you're upset? Why I'm rude? What I said, what, what I said, what I said. You see, you Muslims, you make fun of us for being a Christian. 24 hours, seven days a week. You make up, you, you say to us, How you follow Jesus? The Bible is corrupt. Okay, the Bible says if somebody give you the, the, the hit you in the right cheek, give him the other one. And when I start spanking you, you say to me, Why you are you rude, 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 rude? Why you are not being Christian? So you make fun of us for being a Christian, and you make and you get upset when we are not supposedly. You see the hypocrisy? They make fun of you 24 hours a day for following Jesus, for worshiping a man. Okay, this man, he told us not to be rude, right? Okay. The second you are spanking them, they say you are rude and you are not being a good Christian. And look at the hypocrisy. They have the right to call us pigs, monkeys, donkeys, the worst of the creatures, the enemy of Allah, to kill our women, to rape us, to take our money, and yet they are upset from your root. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, my friend. We we don't hate the Muslims and we will not hate them. But doesn't mean that you cannot you, you should not be tough and speak the truth. Jesus he said to the Jews and those are Jews not worshiping the wrong. He said to them, "You are making the house of my father a bazaar." And he flipped the tables on. Them. So what Jesus? What Jesus? Jesus Jew the Jews not to one wipe idols stones. He said to them, "The you the son." Viber. Did he? So there is many hip to be Christians. They choose what Jesus he say. Oh, it. How come you don't say to Jesus, "Are you the son of Viber?" I did not that to the Muslims. I know what to do. My voice is cutting off. Does all have the problem? Voice is cutting off. Okay. I don't know. Look like I'm going to. <clears throat> is it fine? So why some of you have been cutting off and then? My friend, for all the one who their voice is, my voice is cutting off. You have to say Alhamdulillah. If you say Alhamdulillah, your internet will be fixed. Yeah, I don't have many windows. What many windows? I have a Skype open. I don't have really many. I have a very fast internet. This is. Uh, hmm. uh, yeah, it is YouTube. Obviously, it's YouTube. 
let me sing, let me sing. If I sing, I think the, the, the because always when I sing things fixed, I used to have a, a faucet uh, in the bathroom was dropping and I could not fix it because it is like, it's really tough, rusted. Uh, so what I did, I scared the hell of it and I sing for it. So, Muhammad, you like us, uh, and this is why he promised us uh -huh, a lot of female in heaven, uh -huh, and this is why he told us uh -huh, that we will have a long penis. Uh -huh. The prophet, he like us very much. Hey, let us be happy all long day. We don't have Santa Claus, we don't have a Christmas, we have only bombs coming in the way. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Takbir. Is the voice still cutting? Guys, do you, do you think I should quit, quit my career and work as a singer for Islam? The Muslim, they invite me for the occasion to recite the Quran for them? Hmm? Guys, don't forget there is a video in the info down in the info. Please download it. Not only watch it, download it. It's a comedy. You will die laughing. All right. Don't forget to click at the info. <clears throat> you will see a link. It says https two dot and then slash slash drive dot google dot com. Uh, by the way. We Muslims, we are the one who discover Google. Before that, nobody knows Google. And we are the first we uh, discover the internet. Hmm. Can you explain Tawahadu verse Tawahadu? Can you type it in Arabic, my friend? Because in English, it's coming weird for me. What Tawahadu? Tawahadu? You know, when you write, <clears throat> When you write Arabic in English, it comes funny. I jump from one thousand topic, my friend. Nobody jump in topics as much as Muhammad. I challenge you to show me one chapter in the Quran. Your prophet is not jumping like a monkey from a topic to topic. And let us do the challenge now. What about you? Call me Abdul. Hold on, hold on. Look, look what this guy he said. Look, 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 look. Why you don't call me right now? And I challenge you to choose a topic, and I promise you we will not change it. Whatever you choose. We will go for it. Any topic you want about your profit. Is that fair, guys? Here we go. We have a challenge for you. What is the topic you wish to talk about to prove to us Islam is from God? Whatever you choose, whatever you choose. Promise me you will not change it. It is you Muslims who keep jumping from a branch to branch, from a tree to tree, escaping the topic you just opened. Guys, is it the guy who called me yesterday? Remember, just yesterday, watch the video before. The guy he called me and he want to talk about Tawheed. We said fine. Okay, what is Tawheed? Explain to me. He said to worship the one Creator. Is that correct? The second I start showing him that in the Quran it says that there's no one Creator. There's many Creators. He changed the topic. He changed the topic once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. He keep jumping like a monkey from place to a place. You Muslims, you change topic because you don't dare to debate me. Now, who is the Muslim when I call me? My Skype is open. Is my is my voice coming right? Uh, legendary Faris is asking, what is Skype name? Isn't you the one who called me before? What happened to you, Abdul? Didn't you call me before many times? What the branch of a Christianity? We don't have warehouse for a Christianity to have a branches, my friend. Who told you that we have a branches? Christianity is what Jesus teach. Anything else is not Christianity. So we, was as a Christian, it's not a name of a church. It is whoever believe in the Messiah. We don't have a religion. We have a Savior God. His name is the Messiah. So there's nothing. It's called the branch of a Christianity. People who follow branches, they are not following Jesus. Every person, Jesus, he said, whoever believe in me and die will live. 
whoever, not a church or a group or etc. Whoever. We don't have sect. There's no sect in Christianity. Jesus never taught sect. Those are the teaching of the priest to divide the people. Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Again, again, maybe, maybe. There's a link down in the info. Please click in it, download it, share it in Facebook, in Twitter, in YouTube, in wherever. Download the video. You will die laughing. Yes, Andrew, I'm still here. Are you there? Because if you are there, I'm here. That's mean there is two of us. Hello? Who is the Muslim would like to call me? Let me get some of my coffee, guys. I, I apologize for you. My coffee is in the kitchen. And uh, because I am not in the heaven of Allah. Do you know that in the heaven of Allah, the tree will walk to you and they will bring you the, tree, the fruit? Uh, by the way, do you know that the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, when he was doing poo, poo the trees walk around him to keep him in shade? Honest to Allah, guys, I tried that. And it didn't work. I wanted to go to the bathroom. I was in the middle of nowhere. I saw a tree. And because we are up, it takes us a lot of time to finish. It's not like five minutes or two minutes. No. I mean, how? what do you mean, Muslims, that the tree is keeping Muhammad in the shade? How many hours he's doing it? A guy, he sit in the tree to do poo, poo What do you mean the tree is moving around? Like what? He spent the whole day? Blue? What, what Muhammad was eating? Why did you blame Islam for launching war against criminals? Okay, show me the criminals. Show me, challenge me. Isn't it your prophet, he said, attack the Romans so he can get the blonde girls? Is those the criminals? Huh? <laughs> Hello, CP. Hey, Faris, how are you? I'm doing good. What about you? How is your dad doing? Alhamdulillah. How many wife your daddy have Faris? Uh, only one. Why? What happened? He don't like the Islam? What you know, it's an optional thing. It's it say what you can marry up to four. No, no, no. It doesn't say it's an optional, my friend. It says uh, go and F two and a three and four. And if you cannot afford it, you go for one. Uh, uh let me let me, what, what, let me what, tell what, you no, again. No, 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 no. Huh? The verse is the verse in the front of us it says <laughs> go and F two and a three and four. And, and if you cannot afford it, one am I lying? I'm lying. I'll give you the time. Am well, I lying? No, I'm very swiftly. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't uh, want to make it like okay, the last time. Okay, okay. So you can close I don't care. Like last closing. time, first time. I don't care, my friend. Go ahead. I'm listening. <coughs> Thank you so much. In, in, in that word, it's, it's a thank you. Ma taba lakum. Ma taba lakum. It's, a, it's not say go and you must do it. Ma taba lakum. Matna wa thulatha wa rubaa. Fa in khiftum alla ta'dilu fa wahida. It means you can marry uh, women. Uh, up to uh, like two, three, four, but if you cannot ju make justice, you see, there's a condition also. You mm. cannot make justice, marry only one. Mm. So, what do, you, uh, what do you want? And also, CP, it's a, you know, it's a solution for the Christians. Mm. Uh, mm. You can do it. Right? Thank okay. you so much. For right. giving you're me welcome. The time. Thank you, Faris. Say hi to your dad, please. Faris, you just said that mm. you can go and F2 and the three and four. Why your God did not say? Go and start with if in one, and then you can afford it. You go for two. Why he start with the number two? Again, I couldn't hear you really. Your voice is not is cutting a little bit. Guys, is my voice cutting? <laughs> yes, not not good. Today. It doesn't make sense because if your voice coming good to me, go ahead. Go ahead. Because it's same connection. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Go go go. Hello. Go ahead, please. It's me you're looking oh, yeah. for. Yeah. Listen, in the Quran, in mm -hmm. front of us, it says. No, my friend, you see, your, your Quran never was having that skill. You don't even have a dot. So don't, don't tell me. Don't, 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 don't go there. No. My, my friend, no, it is. There's nothing in Islam is called. How, how you can. What? What? Where is the knee? Where is the knee? 
you don't know that uh, there's a lot of I mean Arabic grammar. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Abdul, okay, Abdul. Listen, 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 listen. Does it say? Does it say? Does does he start? Go ahead. Does does he start with? Does he start with two? It's it's optional. You can. No, no. Does he start with two? Either you say yes or you say no. Does it start with two? You go and you f two and three and four and then if you cannot afford it, you f one. Yes or no? You see. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> really, it's about the condition. You see, there is a condition. Why well, you don't answer? You know, I I did this, I did listen to you. I allow you to talk. Does it say start with two? Yes or no? Yes, it says. Okay. It says two, why three, he said? Four. Why he said it start with two? You have F two and three and four. And if you cannot you can afford marry it, up to two, three, four. No, it doesn't say you can marry. First of all, first first of all, first of all, where is the word marry? Where is the word marry? Where is what really your connection? Where is where is, is the word where is the word get married? Get married. Thank you. The inky who inky who? Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> My friend, the word nukah means. Yeah, yeah, I know what that, you see before that coming nikah also. Mm, what nikah mean? Is it is it really is a uh, marriage or it is the F word? Uh, is, it, <laughs> is it the F word? Be honest. Is it the I can back it you busted? I can show the Islamic definition for no, nikah. I've, I've never been busted. And the thing, if I don't know, I will admit it. I don't know. This is don't tell me you do this not know. Way. A second ago, you were trying to correct my Arabic, and now you do not know. Yeah, I'm gonna correct your Arabic. You see, the thing that you don't, know, you don't know, you don't know Arabic to correct yeah, me. Your Arabic know, is funny. And let me ask you. Look, okay, let me I'm ask you. Let, okay, listen, listen, let listen. Me, you speak Arabic, let's right? Not, you, so okay, smooth. hold on, hold on, hold on. You, yes, you, yes. Do you speak Arabic very well? Wait do you speak Arabic very well? Hello? Go, go. I cannot hear you really today. Do you speak Arabic very well? Do I speak what? Arabic, Arabic. Arabic? Yes, yes, yes. Alhamdulillah. All right, that's I, I believe I, speak, I can speak more than you because. The thing is, whenever you're reading, okay. you're making okay. a lot okay. of mistakes. My friend, my friend, my friend. Okay. Mm. Uh, I want to write a word for you now in the screen, and I want you to tell uh, me if it's correct or not. I, I don't have the word. Um, CP, uh, should I press? I, I, I'm a new on the Skype. Okay. I let just make let me ask you: If I write the word musaitir, I write it with sad or seen? It's also you see about that. Uh, it's coming also musaitar bissad, not with the sin. Mm. But in some there is also in the verse uh, in the Quran also mm. it comes. There's uh, there's uh, 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 no, hold on, hold on, hold on. How how the same word is written in different way if it is the same word? What happened? Obviously, uh, what happened? Thank come you. on, come on. If you go to school and you write it with a sod, they will give you zero. But because it is in the Quran now, you are ashamed to say that this is a stupid error and a stupid mistake, right? Oh, you are stupid. But go ahead. Well, how how it going to be? Either musaitar was seen or musaitar was saw. It can't be both. It's coming a lot. You see, CP, there is a lot of condition. Uh, the thing is, you did not study Arabic. Neither I. You see, we know that. What do you mean I don't study? How you know I didn't study Arabic? How you know? How you know? I'm sure. Well, you see, one hundred percent. There are a lot of grammars are. Uh -huh. Yes, on your reading. Whenever you read the verse, I have noticed a lot of mistake. Really, I have man, noticed. Well, man, man. You did not study. Okay, let me ask you. 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 In, in the Al Fatiha, Al Fatiha, when you say. أهدنا الصراط المستقيم. Is it صراط or ذراط? Is it صراط or ذراط? Again, again. Is it صراط or ذراط? Or ذراط. There is no such. So what 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 ذراط mean? What what ذراط mean? What what ذراط mean? ذراط. ذراط. I don't know. This is a new word. What do you mean? You didn't know. I should assure you that it, 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 you, you are saying you are claiming you speak Arabic and you want to correct me in Arabic, but you do not know what Zorat means. Zorat means farting. You see, Abdurat, Abdurat in the Arabic. Abdul, Zorat, Zorat. Yes. There is no such a verse. Mm. Okay, is the verse is stuck for Let's go point by point. <laughs> okay. Is so, is is is, is is it Zorat or Zorat? It is written again, again. I cannot hear. It. I'm it's asking you: Is right. it? Is it? Hmm. Why you? Why you don't tell me? What, the answer: Is it? Is it a which means farting, 
and this is the chapter of al fatiha or it is it is a sirat a sirat means what i can say a sirat a sirat it is there is a way it means okay you see in the in the hell in the judgment there will be some kind we call it a sirat people will cross it okay so so it's wrong so it's wrong wrong to say is a lot I cannot hear you really. I said that it is a sirat. Why are you bringing the word of a sirat? I'm asking you, is it wrong to say a sirat? Yes, I mean, you're okay. So, I mean, so why you must, why, why you Muslims, you, you can ro ro go right now and listen to the recitation of a Sheikh Abdullah al Shanqiti, and you will see he is re reciting it with sirat, which means farting. Which, uh, give me the name of the Sheikh, please. The, uh, he's dead. You want to call him? Do you want to call him? Hello? 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 What happened? Guys, is my voice coming? Do you see how stupid they they play the game of Arabic, but you know you, they play it with an American. Even with me, do you want to play it? No. Yeah. What happened oh, to you? No. Okay. Listen. No, there is a connection. I okay. Don't know, really. So I'm glad that you admitted that the word zirat is wrong, right? Zirat is wrong, and you said that. Wait, 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 Everybody heard you. I recall, there is lightning. Okay. Call me back. Call me back. Call me back. No problem. CP, I will, I will, I will record it. There's something wrong with my phone. No problem. Can no I? problem. Call me. Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. I'm trying to run. <laughs> okay. No I'm problem. Not, I'm the legend. I'm, I have become the super legend. Uh, okay, okay. 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 Yeah, okay. I'm not going to run. Just oh, give me a second. No problem. <clears throat> Thank you, Abdul. You see, you open the topic of Arabic, you have to face it. It's your choice. You, you believe it? They are saying to their God, guide us to farting? Okay, Faris. Hello, oh, yeah. All right. I want you right now. Do you have internet there? You said, uh, where were we? we okay. Were about the, the, reading, the reading of Hamza, the recitation of the Hamza, you know, the, 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 the Quran, have many recitations, correct? Yes. Okay. Almost, uh, have you, have you ever heard of the recitation of Hamza? I'm not trying to okay, have you ever heard the recitation of uh, uh, of Warsh? No, I have not. You I've never. Oh, okay, look like you are a Muslim from the from the free market. Wait, wait, so wait, wait, if I'm you go and see the recitation, they say Ahdina Ziratul Mustaqim. My friend, you can go right now. Search it, with Abdul. It, you can you can go. Uh, don't uh, don't waste my time, please, please. Please. No, okay, so why because you don't go right now? You are in the yeah, internet, you have internet, and the proof you have internet, you are talking to me. Why you don't search for it? It says, Let's make it question by question. My friend, this is a question by this is a question by question. This is a question, this is a question by question. How the word Sirat became Zirat? It is, it is, it is, I, like I said it to you, and I will say it again. It is reading at a Sirat. Mm. So how it became the rot? How it became farting? You see, I don't know who's the one who has to say. Uh, you Muslims, far uh, okay. This is me. You Muslims, you fart a lot. I don't know who is there. You are asking me. I told you the reading of Hamza. I told you this is very famous. This is a famous recitation, my friend. Ahdina Zirat Al Mustaqim, and actually, and actually, and actually, here we go. Let me show you. This is a. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. This is this is your Muslim website. Are you looking at the screen? Are you looking at the screen? Are you looking at the screen? Uh, it is not in my side, but go ahead. I will, I will do my best. Okay. It says Surah Al Fatiha. يقول أهدنا الزرات وليس الصراط. Do you see it? Where, where? Can you show it? There is lagging. I cannot see. I'm showing it in the screen. Nothing appear in my screen. Hmm. Maybe it's my, I have fighting. Uh, but you did. You see, the thing is, like I said. And then he says, uh, he, and, then he says and then he says, and then he says, Zurata Ladina and Amta Alehim. Okay. And then he says, Zurata Ladina and Amta Alehim, Rayro Mardubi Alehim, or Dali in Zurat. How Sirat? How Sirat became Zurat? Zurat, do you, do you, you Muslims asking Allah to, to guide you for farting? 
What's the lot mean? Correct me, please. I'm, I'm going to learn from you. Like I said, wait, wait, wait. We, we, I'm, I'm, the thing is, I cannot hear it properly. I'm, I'm not trying to run away. Uh, I don't know why this guy, he cannot hear me properly. I mean, what's wrong with you? The thing is, you're also repeating about the drug. I don't know what, like I said to you, it is not reading as it, as you're saying. Abdul, what do you mean reading as you're saying? I'm reading it as I'm saying. Here we go. This is the book of Abdiya al-Shamsi, Al-Fatih al-Qudsi. Are you there? Yeah, yeah go, go, go ahead. Okay. Is it the Ra? Is it the Raat or Sirat? In the in the in the first chapter in the in the Fatiha? Yes, yeah, Sirat. Sirat. So why the Muslims? Why you Muslims are saying the Raat or the Raat? Who said that? Who said that? I'm showing oh, you, I'm, my friend. I'm showing you. Here we go. Read with me. Is is the screen is 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 the screen appearing for you? No, no, nothing at my screen. I, I'm, I'm not trying to Every, anything, but nothing at everybody, uh, everybody can see the screen. How you? How come you cannot see it? Why you cannot see it? The book of Adiya is Shamsi Al Al Fatih Al Qudsi Sharh Wurd Al Sahur Al Bakri, the Imam Al Bakri, very number one, two, one and two. It says, "ويجمع ضرات وصرات الذين أنعمت عليهم بدلا من الأول." Better a minute, etc. And then he says, uh, and he explained why it's, it's the rot. So you Muslims, you are asking Allah to guide you for farting. Hello. The connection is weak. I'm not trying to run around. No problem. No problem. I understand. So I can tell you have a weak internet. No problem. You see here it says, Zorat, do you see it? Let me see. Let me see. I hope it's appearing at the screen. Hmm. Um, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I can see something. Okay. Do you see the word Zorat? Zorat. The Zorat. Hello? Yeah, so how, how Sirat became Zorat? Um, click it, click it. You just, you my friend, we click it. No problem, no problem. My friend, my friend, my friend, we click it. We click it. Here we go. Bingo, we click it. Abdul, we, okay, we click it. We, my friend, my, my friend, my friend, we click it. The whole, here we go. This is, this is the study. At-Tahlil Al-Laghwi Fi Surat Al-Fatiha. This is a professional. His name is Shakir Tamimi. And, and he's explaining to you. He, he's reading. Not... Zurat, Zurat. Let me choose Arabic. It's not Zurat, Zurat. It's different between Zurat and Zurat. What Zurat? What Zurat mean? You see, like you said, and we both. Know My friend, what Zurat? Don't tell me we, we both. We both, we both but what Zurat mean? I don't know, but maybe it's recitation. Okay, so what that. is the word farting? I, what is what is the word farting? Can you tell me? The rot, wait, wait. the rot is the rot farting, yes or no? You see, is the rot is, is the word the rot farting, yes or no? Wait, can you repeat, please? Yeah, is the word the rot farting, yes or no? Thank you. Here we go. This is the book. Read with me, read with me, please. Here we go. It says, It is the rot. Can the you, book uh, name, the book name, Al Diya Al Shamsi, Al Diya Al Shamsi, Al Al Fatih Al Qudsi, Sharh Wurd Al Sahir Al Bakri, volume number one, page number one and two. You see, uh, what's wrong with you or section? So, ويجمع دورات ويجمع دورات الجمع فيها دورات. So you Muslims asking Allah to guide you for farting? No, it's not for Allah. So you are the one who told me the rod. You are the one who told me. I asked you many times what the rod means. You said to me, Farty. Are you aware of the, the little bug and that? My friend, I am aware. I asked you. You said to me, you, I asked you what the rod means. You said Farty. Is it you who said to me? Is it you who said to me a second ago? Is it you? Is, is Abdul? Is it you a second ago? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You are doing too much life. farting. Isn't you who say? Isn't you who say to me? What, listen, Faris. Isn't you who said to me a second ago? I asked you what the rot yeah. mean. You said to me farting. 
Yes. Okay, isn't it in the front of you on the screen says, isn't it in the front of you on the screen saying, your scholar saying that it is Burat? I have seen it, I have seen it. Why is it different? Look, there is nothing you see. Anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. The thing Dude, here like we this. go. I zoom more. I'm zooming more. Don't tell me click it. You can click it yourself. This is the name of the book. Okay. You see, you're always referring to the Google. Anyone can change anything about the Google. And my friend what what what, what google this is google show you part of what is in the page give you give you a summary based on your research when you search for a word in my entire we see uh about the sort of touch how we repeat it like a hundred times in one day okay no one in my entire life say what you are saying it's, it's a shame who care? Who it? care? I'm here yeah. to I'm here to get Islam busted. Yeah. That's why you Muslim. You keep yeah. saying to me, we never heard this before. Who care? Uh, no one my friend, my friend, him. who? who okay, who care? Who care if you heard it before yeah, or not? Who, who care if you heard it before or not? You are talking to me because you never heard it, and I am showing it to you in the screen, so you cannot say to me I'm lying. No, 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 I did not say you're lying. But the thing so, is like this, like I said, mm. in my entire life, 25 years ago, mm. I mean, I'm 25 years ago, mm. I have never heard anyone saying like that. I don't know. From I'm not place, even like, the one who saying is, that, my friend. It's not me who's saying that. I'm showing you, I'm showing you your scholar saying that. That's not my problem, my friend. Who's scholar? No one have ever heard them. Uh, who, you see, who, no who, hold on. You never heard, you never heard of recitation of Hamza? Or somebody is a scholar? No, he just another. You never heard of his. Uh, okay, okay, let me ask you another question. Forget about Durat. Mm. All right. Yeah. Forget yeah. about Durat. I have another question for you. I don't want to talk about Durat no more. I'm sick of farting, please. The people they are complaining even from the smell. Let us see here. Okay. Your smell. <laughs> the Quran says, "Inna atayna kal Is that correct? Inna atayna kal Yes. Okay. Is it atayna or in taynaka? Again, can you is it a or in tinaka? Not in tinaka. Okay. So, okay, so, thank you. So, guys, he said the correct one is a tinaka. So, how you explain to me how you explain to me it says in tinaka? I didn't say in tinaka, I said a my friend. Read it. Okay. I know, I know you said a tinaka. The correct one is a tinaka, my friend. It's in the front of your eyes. It's in the front of your eyes. Here we go. I don't care if you I, here we have a crossfire talk. Is, read with me. Does it say wa inna in Yes or no? There are okay. Once you finish, that's good. You see, the most common thing is say apainaka. There are like seven readings or six letters. Uh, okay. I cannot recall it. Mm. It's it's uh, like you see uh uh, uh, in the first chapter, Maliki uh, hmm. Yom it also said Maliki Yom Is that a mistake? It's also written. Is that a mistake? No, no, no. It's it, I say, There's it's a huge difference between Malik and Malik. Maliki or Maliki, same issue. No, no. Malik, Malik is the king of the day of judgment. Malik is the one who owns it. Maliki, Maliki or Maliki. No, no my yeah, friend. Like no, I my friend. No, my friend. Like I said, you see? Like I said, so, you Muslims, you Muslims, listen, listen what happened. The, the Let me explain, guys, what happened. The, the Abdul, the Abdul, Muhammad, 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 he is a false prophet. Each time, each time he recites a Quran, he say it wrong. So, the Muslim, they say to him, why you keep saying, different story each time we, we listen to you actually there's a story about two guys were fighting about how to recite it and even omar he, he grabbed them and he took them to muhammad he said look at those guys each one of them he said the quran differently so muhammad he said to the first one okay you recite first recite it he said okay she said to him you are right the second one recited he recited he said to him you are right so they said to him so how they can be both right he said allah he sent me the quran in seven letters <laughs> you know what mean? Nothing really. Like I said, really, uh, I has, like I said why Allah yeah, sent the Quran, uh, Faris? Why Allah He sent the Quran in seven? Why Allah Allah sent the Quran in seven reading, including including farting? Why Allah? Seven readings, but you see the most common thing. Like so Allah He decided to say to you, uh, uh, seek seek the farting of Allah. This is a reading of Allah. You see, this is the problem that no one has ever heard you about you, and no one also tried to debate with you because you wrote. Anyhow, anyhow. My friend, my friend, it's in the front of you. Read with me, read with me. Okay, can Muslims can Muslims be Muslims with one Quran? Yes or no? 
can you repeat really the rest can, the, can the muslims can the muslims be muslims if they have uh -huh. only one quran can Islam establish if there is only one reading of the quran, quran. Who said there no. Is different quran? So, no no quran. my question is very simple uh, focus with me faris can you as a muslim be as a muslim if there is only one reading for the quran Yes, yes. Okay. Guys, did he say yes? Did he say yes, Mr. Faris? Mr. Faris, he said yes. Okay. My friend. Give me the time to respond. No problem. No, no, no. You, you respond already. You said yes. Here we go. You're a prophet, he said. Yes, but there's something additional on these things. What additional? Let me tell you. What additional? You see about one reading. It is the most common reading thing that I have now. About this, uh, there are also different readings. But we are not uh, personally. I'm not aware of it. My friend, this is not the I'm question. Not the is, this is not the question. The question is, can you be a Muslim if you are if you are memorizing one reading? Can you be a Muslim if you know what? Yes, 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 okay. yes. Okay. Guys, read with me. You're a prophet. He said it's impossible. Here we go. Allah has commanded Jibril. He came to Muhammad. Look with me in the screen, please, Faris. Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect, in one half. Okay, and then Muhammad he said, I ask, I ask, I ask from Allah burden and forgiveness. My people are not capable of doing it. So, you Muhammad saying that Muslims are not capable to be Muslims if they have only one Quran. Then Jibreel, read, 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 read with me. Then, then he came back for the second time. Who? Jibreel. And he said to him, Allah has commanded you that you should recite the Quran to your people in two dialects. So now we have two. Upon this, the Holy mm -hmm. Messenger, Prophet said, Again, I said, I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah. My people they are not be able to do so. So now you have two Quran. Still, Muhammad insists that this is impossible. And then Jibreel, he came for the third time and said, Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran to your people three dialects. Upon this, the message of Allah said to him, to him I ask, I ask burden and forgiveness from Allah. My people will not be able to do so. And this is continue. This is this 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 is drama continue. I will show you to you in Arabic. Hold on. I have to I have to read in English first for those people who they are listening. So this is drama continue until Muhammad you receive seven Quran. So how you just say to me that you can be a Muslim if you have only one Quran when your prophet insists and asking Allah for forgiveness, asking for more Quran because it has to be seven, otherwise his people are a bunch of donkeys and they cannot understand one Quran. Go ahead. Go to the to, to the Arabic. Read with me. Read. Read with me. Read with me. Read with me. فأتاه جبريل عليه السلام فقال إن الله يأمرك أن تقرأ 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 أمتك القرآن على حرف فقال اسأل اسأل الله معافاته ومغفرته وإن أمة لا تطيق ذلك. I know, I know, but one hundred percent Arabic. Just show it to me in the screen. I have seen. I have seen in English. Go to the right. Let me see it. I saw it. Hey, I'm showing it to you in Arabic. I'm, I'm reading it to you in Arabic, but you're not listening. No, don't read it. I don't want you reading. Your reading is, is sadly poor. Ah, okay. No, because yeah. I'm from Pakistan. So, in Allah, how much? Yeah, more than taqra'u. Taqra'u. Then says there taqra'u. It says taqra'u. 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 It says taqra'u. You you you're skipping the chat. I cannot see it. Whether it's tashkil. Let me. See. It doesn't matter how you see it or not. It is not taqra'u. There is no there is no in Arabic taqra'u. Continue, continue. Taqra'u, taqra'u, whatever, whatever. Let me tell you. Don't skip it. Okay. You see, the prophet said, "My my my nations cannot endure it." They're not able, but my friend, so you, what's the problem? What the problem is, you are the one who said we can be Muslims with one with one Quran. You're a prophet, he said you cannot endure it. You, can, you see, as, guys, look, look at the oh, so, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up, guys, look at the hypocrisy. A minute ago, a minute ago, he said one Quran is enough. He said, I one Quran. Quran I said, we were reading. He said about the reading, don't say this me. is reading, Abdul. He is asking for more reading. I ask you for more reading. I told you. Shut up, go. I have no time for kids. You see the hypocrites? Just now because his prophet said they cannot do it, he changed his mind. He said, no, I did not say that. You said that. I said, is one Quran, reading one Quran is enough for you to be a Muslim? You said, yes. 
And since you call me until now, we are talking about different reading for the Quran. So you know what we are talking about already. It's not a surprise. Since the first second you call me, we are showing you a wrong reading for the Quran. And I ask about the reading of Warsh. And I ask about the reading of Hafs and the reading of Hamza. So you know we are talking about reading absolutely nothing else. And I mentioned to you that your prophet, he mentioned that he received Quran in seven ahruf. And I asked you the question, is it enough for us to recite the Quran one recitation? You said no. I said, you said yes. Then when I showed you your prophet saying that this is impossible. Okay, where is the seven recitation? You Muslims, you claim that the Quran is preserved. Where is where we can find the seven recitation of the Quran? My people are not capable, you know, what people this guy he have a one tribe it's called Quraysh. Why they cannot why they are not capable? Small tiny village. Why he needs a Quran? It's a joke. Why Musa did not ask God to send him the Hebrew, the the the, 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 the Torah and seven Hebrew languages. What does that mean? Since when God he will send it in dialect? And you, if you are an Arab. And yet you need seven dialects to understand the Quran. How somebody like Zakir Naik from Pakistan or Bangladesh, he will understand the Quran. The answer is very simple. Muhammad is a scam. And let us prove it from the Quran. Muhammad, he confirmed that Allah, he make him forget Quran. Why Allah, when he gave a prophet Quran, but he make him forget the Quran. The Muslim, they say to us, we Muslims memorize the Quran by heart. You don't memorize the Quran by heart. You repeat it like a donkey since you are a child, and then by time you memorize it. This is how I do. This is not memorizing the Quran. Memorizing the Quran is not by repeating, 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 and then after, the, after five or six years repeating the same verse every day, then you memorize it. Memorizing the Quran is, I say it to you, and that's it, it's going to stuck in your head. You're a prophet. He didn't have the advantage to memorize it because he didn't have much, much time. So look what happened to him. He keeps saying things and he forgot what he say. So he come with this. Chapter 2, verse 106, getting him busted. Explaining a situation Muhammad is suffering from. Look what Allah is saying supposedly. None of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Allah, he caused the revelation to be called to be forgotten. Why? in the world God when I call forget revelation have you ever heard of a religion says see you know, guide us to the to the fort mashallah <laughs> here we go I got you your guidance are you happy God I'm farting we seek, please, Allah, we seek your farting. Allah, he sent revelation, and the Quran says that Allah, he will reserve revelation. And then we find Allah caused you to forget revelation, how that can be. And then Muhammad, to make more poo, poo to explain why he is not remembering anything, look what he said. If we cause you to forget revelation, but we substitute something better or similar like what the heck so you made him forget it to get to send him something similar guys do you see what i'm saying talking about how you say i will cause you for so what the purpose of making you forget to send him something similar this is a crazy so imagine i send you i send you iphone 7 it is iPhone 7, right? There's iPhone 7 and iPhone 8, right? Uh, I will send you iPhone 8. I forget Allah. Allah will not send you iPhone 7. Old, you know, Allah, he sent brand new. So Allah, he will send you iPhone 8. And then he make you forget about where you have it. He make you, he cause you to forget it. And then Allah, he send you another phone. It's called iPhone 8. <laughs> Who is the stupid here? Huh? Who is the stupid here? He caused you to forget the verses, then he sent you something similar. And in the top of that, he not only he says similar, look what he said. Muhammad, he insists to do the best boo -boo he can. He says something better. How Allah can send better Quran than the Quran of Allah? 
Any Muslim can tell us how Allah can make Quran better than the Quran of Allah. Hmm? The brothers and sisters, today we have a debate between Allah in the right and Allah in the left. Allah in the right, he will recite Quran, and Allah in the left will recite Quran, and we are going to make a final decision who his Quran is better. Who is the stupid here? How Allah can make Quran better than the Quran of Allah? Any Abdul? I am Allah. And I am going to Quran, make a Quran better than the Quran of Allah. <laughs> I love it. I mean, this is too much fun. Allah will make Quran better than the Quran of Allah. So now we have to announce the first winner. The first, the first winner is Allah. The second loser is Allah. Hmm? How Allah can make Quran better than Allah? Muhammad here is trying to say to the Muslims, well, yes, uh, you know, what I can do, I mean, I keep forgetting Quran, but don't worry, be happy. Allah will make me either something similar as the, the one I forgot, or, you know, uh, something uh, something equal or better. Hello? I'm, I'm fine, my friend. How are you doing? Your voice. What about. Your voice is cutting, my friend. Are you a Muslim, Mr. Muhammad? Yes. Okay. We are reading uh, the Quran. You know where where the Quran said that Allah, if Muhammad, he for Allah, he will cause Muhammad to forget Quran, and he will send him something better or similar. What do you think? I would say about that. Say the Quran. Huh? The, uh, the, the verse doesn't say Quran, it says ayah. It doesn't say what? The, the, the verse that, that doesn't say Quran. You say ayah. Just so what, what ayah? Oh, isn't it ayah? Isn't it ayah is something in the Quran? Is it ayah in the Quran? Is the Quran? Ayah, not the whole, the whole Quran. Yes, it's ayah. So it's, it's something from the Quran. It's a reading of the Quran, verses from the Quran, correct? So don't, 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 don't play with words. Abdul, I'm not playing with the word. I'm asking you, is ayah, is something, is in the Quran or something in the kitchen? Something in the Quran. But Thank you. So it is Quran. So ayah is the Quran. As long it is, so it is the word of Allah, right? Ayah is the word of Allah. Is, do you agree? Okay. Do you want to understand this? Verse? My friend, is the ayah word of Allah? Yes or no? Let's assume it is the, 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 the what do you mean assume? What do you mean assume? No, no, there is no there's no assume. There's no assume. Either you say yes or you say no. Is ayah the word of Allah? Yes or no? Yes, but it's not all the Quran. Okay, so guys, it's not all the Quran. It's not all the Quran. It's not all the Quran. Okay, no problem. So now Allah will cause Muhammad to forget the Quran. Why? Do you want to understand this? Hmm? Allah will make Muhammad forget 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 Quran. Why? Do you, do you know how Muslims uh, understand Quran or, or not? How what? Go how? to any tafsir and let's understand the Quran. Go to any tafsir. You can, you can read any tafsir you want. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim. Tell me. Here we go. You are the tafsir. I'm listening. How Allah? Why Allah? Why Allah? No, no. You call me. That means you are ready. Why? Why Allah? He caused Muhammad to forget the Quran. My friend, and you see, sometimes you go to. Scholars to understand Quran, but sometimes you don't go. Hmm. Just go and, 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 and see what the scholars say about this verse. Okay. Can you can you go? No problem. Here we go. Any, any okay. Any tafsir. Okay. Yeah. Let, let us let us do this, guys. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. Because to understand the Quran, you cannot use your logic and my logic. No problem. Here we go. We will go to tafsir. Are you ready, my friend? Yes. Go. Okay. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Quran al Azim, the Ibn Kathir. It says, Wakala ibn Jurayj, and Mujahid. Wama nansahu min ayah, ay ma namhi min ayah. Any verse we do nasakh, we erase. So Allah, He erased Quran. Why Allah, He erased Quran? Let's go one by one. 
This is the tafsir now. That's it. He says he erased it. The word nasakh means he erased it. Why Allah will erase his Quran? Because what? He just said, you know, we are going step by step. He is just saying, Nasakh al وَمَا نَنْسَخُ مِنْ آيَا مَا نُنْسِكَ قَالَ عَطَى أَمَّا مَنْ نَسَخْ فَمَا نَتْرُكُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ وَقَالَ إِبْنُ حَاتِمْ يعني ترك فلم ينزل على محمد ما ننسخ من آية ننس ننس uh, 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 he continues saying here let us go to where it says cause you to forget it ننسيها إنما نما نسخ وأنسي فأله عنها so he, they, Allah calls you to forget the Quran. That's what they're saying. Allah calls you to forget the Quran. As simple as that. Huh? when he say, my friend, he just said, all, all, all here, they are repeating. You see, all is, is opinion, but they are repeating the same. They are saying, Nasakh mean that Allah, he may, you know, he, he, he leave Quran, he make, he abrogate Quran, he delete Quran. And then he says, Nunsiha, which means we, we, we cause you to forget the Quran. Yeah, Nunsiha, the Quran, and then he says, 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 Nunsiha, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uqri a Qur'an thumma nasi that your prophet, your messenger, he been given Qur'an by Allah and then he forgot that this why it says nunsiha. So it's yeah, they are admitting that Muhammad he used to forget Quran and Allah is saying to him, Don't worry, I will send you better Quran. What do you say? No, no, it's not, it's not a prophet who forgot. What do you mean not impossible? It says in the front of you, aren't you the one who asked me? Okay, hold on. Do you, uh, do you speak Arabic first of all? Do you speak Arabic or do you speak only English? Do you, do you speak? Do you speak? Okay, so you speak Arabic, so you see it in the screen. Here we go. It says, Inna Nabiyakum sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uqri a Quran and thumma nasih. Do you see it? Does it say that in Ibn Kathir online? My friend, you speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. Okay, so it says in the front of us, you are the one who asked me to go to the tafsir. Okay, we are in the tafsir. I say that Muhammad is forgetting the Quran and he's making excuse that Allah will give him something better. You did not agree. So we went to the tafsir and the tafsir now saying, Inna nabiyakum sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uqri a Quran and fanasi. So, so you're a prophet, he's been giving Quran and then he forgot it. Did you see it? Does it say that? My friend, my friend, do you, do you see the do you see the sentence I just read for you? It says that the, your prophet he forgot. Uh, okay, let, let me read for you. No, let me read the interpretation. You asked me to go and read the interpretation. We read the verse already. Why you why you asked me to go to the interpretation? And now you don't want the interpretation no more. This is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir in front of you. Waqala Ibn Jarir. Inna Nabiyakum sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Your, he said that your messenger, your prophet, Allah pray on him and salute him, gave him Quran and he forgot it. Does it say that in Arabic? Yes or I'm lying? Okay, so it says thank you, thank you, thank you for saying it says. So now, so now we have a confession from the Muslims that Muhammad he received Quran from Allah and he forgot totally about it. It doesn't matter the, the sentence here, my friend. The sentence to prove a case, the case, my case, that you're a prophet for good Quran. No, no, it's not. He forgets because Allah wants him to forget because he will uh, uh, give him another verse that abrogates the other, the other verse that he forgets. My friend, what other verse? He forgot the verse. It says, no, it says, it says, we will give you something similar. We will give you something similar. Abdul, Abdul, we'll give you something similar. So, what do you mean abrogate? How it can be abrogate if it's similar? Allah. 
Allah, okay. So Allah, Allah, but, but it says, it says, no see her. What no see her mean? What no see her? You're, you're a Moroccan guy. What no see her mean? Huh? What no see her mean? The word no see her. What the word no see her mean? We, we, we forget you. No see her, no see her. We cause you to forget it. It's not we forget it. It's not Allah who forget it. Allah, He caused you to forget. You agree? No, no, my friend. Allah caused Muhammad to forget. Okay, so Allah, guys, he said, he said, he just said, thank you. Allah, he caused Muhammad to forget it. Okay, why Allah caused Muhammad to forget it? If he want him. So, 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 so. so what? Why, why he caused him to forget it? What the point? The point is, he will give him another, another uh, verse that, uh, another verse that he will. Uh, Another verse that will come uh, in the future. He will give him another verse in the future. So what? So why he gave him the first verse anyway? Why he don't give him the verse which is good already? Why he caused him to forget it? What's wrong? He, did Allah found that there's a mistake there, so he caused him to forget it? Why? Why he caused him? Explain to me why he caused. Why he caused him to forget it? I will show you why. Yeah, show me please. It is, it is uh, with, uh, with uh, because Muhammad is 23 years from this century. Well, what, what, so what does have to do with this? In, in My friend, it like, says, no see her, no see her. This is not about interrogation only. It's about forgetting the Quran. You admitted that Allah, he caused Muhammad forget the Quran. Can't he abrogate? Can't he abrogate? Can't he abrogate and new verses without causing him to forget the Quran? Why he need to cause him to forget the Quran? I can abrogate the Quran. Okay, God, God, God. Listen, listen. God can send in you verses. No problem. He, he to abrogate it to change the law. No problem. Why he caused him to forget the Quran? This is the question. What is the need to forget the Quran? If there's an, if there is, if there is a need, if there is any need to cause Muhammad to forget the Quran, what is the wisdom of that? Hmm. Uh, you know when we have a problem, it is Muhammad himself for God. This is the problem. But if Allah is what Muhammad is for, there is no problem because the revelation is from God. Revelation from God? How we know that revelation from God? Yes. Maybe this revelation is not from God because as you see, Muhammad here is saying things that does not make sense. God will not do that. Why God will send you a revelation then you you to forget it? You achieve it. Okay. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Does, does the Quran, does the Quran says that Allah will give Muhammad on and you will never forget? Yes, no, yes, or no. No, the Quran yes. in chapter 87, verse number. Hold on, hold on. The chapter chapter 87, verse number six says, Sunukuruka We are going to recite Quran for you, and you will never forget the Quran. Does it say that or not? Or I'm lying. Well, when Allah He says, and you will never forget, it's mean you will never forget. What it's mean, you will not forget. Guys, 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 read with me carefully. Guys, read carefully with me. We shall make thee read, O Muhammad, and you shall not forget. Does it say that? You shall not forget. When Allah, he said to me, you will not forget. If he is God, I will never forget. So you admitted that you're a prophet. He forget Quran. The hadith confirmed that. The interpretation confirmed that. And now we have the Quran saying, contradiction, that Allah will never let Muhammad forget the Quran. You see the problem with it. Hmm. The problem is Muhammad himself for it. In this case, Allah himself because Muhammad to forget. Ah, Muhammad guys, forget. look, look at the wisdom. Look, look at the wisdom. He, he said, he, he said, hold on, hold on, hold on, my friend, hold on. Guys, listen carefully because his voice is cutting a little bit. He said, in this case, Allah is the one causing Muhammad to forget the Quran. It's not Muhammad to forget the Quran. Who cares? At the end of the day, it is Muhammad forgetting the Quran. When you say to him, no, you shall no, not no, forget, no, it's mean you shall not forget. My friend, if I say to you, I will I will say something to you and you will not forget what I say to you. And then I make you forget what I say to you. This is a contradiction. No, no. Do you know what is the contradiction? Mm. If Allah said, if Allah, uh, the second verse that you give, he says that Muhammad, he will never forget in his face. And the, the first 
Okay, how Allah will cause you something He promised you will not happen. Allah promised you that you will not forget. How Allah will cause you to forget if He is the one who promised you? He is the same person who promised you. I will give you Quran and you will not forget. And then you say to me that Allah is the one who caused the Quran to be forgotten. No, God never said, I will never cause you to forget. He it says that, and we, never, and you shall forget. not forgive. You shall not forgive this. Allah, you don't need to say never. By who? By who? My friend, Allah By says who? that. If Allah says you will never, you will not get thirsty, it means you will not get thirsty. There's no exception. If Allah says you will never, you will not die, it means you will never die. If Allah, if Allah is God, if he say you will not do that, it means you will not do that. That's it. Allah said you will you shall not forget when Allah he made the promise are you saying his promise was not complete are you saying are you saying that Allah is lying in his promise he don't mean it okay so now so now why you are saying and why so why you are saying he did not say never if he said to him you will not forget it's mean you will not forget there's no other option you will not forget he's speaking about what what by himself? By, what happened by himself? How do you say to me, you will not forget, and then later you cause me to forget? It doesn't matter if it's you who caused me or I am the one who is behind it. You said to me, oh, you, Abdul, Abdul, both, both orders, both orders is coming from who? Listen, 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 you see? You say, listen, listen. If Muhammad, it's, it is not Muhammad who said, Allah will not make me forget. Listen, it is not Muhammad who said, Allah will not make me forget. It's Allah who said, I will not make, I will, I will make you not to forget. So how Allah contradict himself saying to him once, I will make you not to forget, and then you say to him, I will cause you to forget. God said, you will never forget by yourself, and the other, I will I will cause to forget this. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let, let, let me ask you. My friend, my friend, let me ask you. When Muhammad forgot the Quran, it's only Muhammad who forgot the Quran or the Muslims too. When he forgot the Quran, which, which, uh, the, the, the tafsir, which chapter he my friend, I don't care which chapter now. Which chapter? Uh, uh, we will show you later what chapter, but I'm, I'm asking you now. When Muhammad he forgot the Quran, what? did you see the tafsir? The tafsir says that in New age, etc., he said that the Prophet he, he received Quran and he forgot the Quran. Okay, so that this is confirmed. The Quran confirmed that too. Now, when Muhammad forgot the Quran, was it only Muhammad who forgot the Quran, or it was all the Muslims too? Give me, give me the hadith where you say that. My friend, this is not a hadith yet. I'm asking a question. Is it true that Muhammad only forgot the Quran, all the Muslims, all the Muslims forgot the Quran at the same time? I don't understand. My question is very simple. Why you are trying? Why you are avoiding the question? Who is the one being caused to be forgotten? The verse is saying, "Oh, uh, uh, any verse we for cause to forget." Okay, this is for all Muslims or only for Muhammad? Just repeat, repeat, please. When Allah in the Quran says that I cause you to forget Quran. He was saying only Muhammad will forget the Quran or the Muslims too. You, you talk about Muhammad. Okay, so only Muhammad will forget the Quran, right? Okay, what is the verse Muhammad he forgot and you Muslims remembered? I don't know, tell me. <laughs> You tell me what the point of saying to him, I will cause you to forget and you will not, and I will send you something better. If you Muslims, all of you don't know, he will cause you to forget what? So what is the verses forgotten by Muhammad? This, this, is, this is a speech between God and the Prophet. We don't, we don't know what is the, that we have the Quran in here. We, we are not, we, are, we, don't, we don't care about what he, what you or not? You don't care, really, guys. Did you hear it? The Muslim don't care if Muhammad forget Quran or not. Who care? I mean, what this is amazing. No, man, it's not prophet who forget. It's Allah who wants. So Quran okay, but I asked you, I asked you, I asked you. Only Muhammad forget the Quran, or the Muslims forget the Quran. You said only Muhammad, correct? 
forget this. My friend, I'm asking you, who is the one who forgetting the Quran? Is it Muhammad alone or all the Muslims and Muhammad together? Are you speaking in this verse or generally? The, the, ver the verse here is saying Allah caused you to forget the Quran. So he caused Muhammad only or caused all Muslims, including Muhammad, to forget the Quran. The question is very simple. It is only Muhammad. Only Muhammad. Yeah. Did he say only Muhammad? Did he say only Muhammad? Okay, recite for me the, the verse of stoning. Recite for me. Recite for me. Recite for me the verses of stoning to death. I want to hear it. Stoning to death. If you do not know this one, I will give you something easier. Give me the verses of ten adult breastfeeding. The verse. Give me the verse where it says that Allah He gave you an order that women, Muslim women. She should give her boobs to a stranger for ten times, and he have to suck it ten times. Give me the verse. Recite it for me. I want to hear it. Give it to me. It is you who says. What do you mean? It's, it's me. You, you are the one who said only Muhammad. You said only Muhammad forget the Quran. So that's mean you are you. You did not forget the Quran. Okay. Recite for me the chapter or the verses where it's speaking that God He ordered Muhammad and the Muslims that Muslim women they should give their boobs. To a stranger, to the set, they can suck their nipples ten times until they are satisfied. Show me, recite the verse for me. I want to hear it. My friend, I'm quite experienced. If you have any other verses, then show it to me. What do you mean, show it to me, my friend? I'm asking you to show it. You are, you are saying to me, we remember the verses. You said only Muhammad forgot the Quran. Okay, great. So where is the verse of suckling for an adult? I am an adult. I want to do suckering, but I do not know how to do it. I want to hear the verse so I can do it correctly. How you can recite the verse for me? Go ahead. Start talking about. We have one Quran. This only Quran is five. And my friend, what one Quran? What one Quran? Uh, just the guy before you. We showed him the other Quran. It says Zurat. In Tainaka, what Quran? Ah, Quran? You know, even your prophet, even your prophet, even your prophet, he said Allah sent him seven Quran. Even your prophet, even your prophet said Allah sent him seven Quran. So are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Abdul, Abdul, don't change the topic, my friend, my friend. Don't change the topic. Listen, listen. As long as long you said only Muhammad forgot the Quran. As long you said. As long as you said only Muhammad forget the Quran, recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult. I want to hear it from you. There is no verses in the Quran like this. No verses in the Quran. So it's, it's, so that's mean it's gone. Allah, you make you forget it? Just tell me what, show me. Uh, that's how are you are you saying are you saying Allah he caused so are you saying that Allah he caused you to forget that verse? There is no verse like this, my friend. Okay, never. Okay, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, he said he said there's no such a verse ever. He said that, right? Okay. Show me one Quran that have this verse. My friend, let me show you that the Quran have those verses. Here we go. This is the hadith in the front of us. Your your God, your God. Yes, the Hadith. Aren't you a Muslim Sunni? Are you Shia or Sunni? Are you Shia? Are you Shia or Sunni? Are you Shia? Are you Shia or Sunni? I am Muslim, and I have one Quran. If you have any verse that you are talking about, show me what is any Quran that's quoting this. Well, I am saying, I'm just told you that Allah, he, he, uh, Allah, he took it off from the Quran because the Muslims are ashamed of it. Obviously, it is not Allah. Obviously, your Muslims are ashamed of it. Read with me carefully. This is this is Sunat Ibn Majah, and this is a Sahih Hadith. The verse of stoning to death. Who is talking to Aisha? Not me. Don't accuse me of lying. This is Aisha talking. Aisha, she said, the verse of stoning to death. Stoning, uh, sorry, stoning, which means stoning to death, and the breastfeeding of an adult. Ten time was revealed. Do you hear it? It's a verse which was revealed. What is the verse that she is talking about? Two verses. One of the stoning, one for stoning, and one from for breastfeeding for adult. It is ten times breastfeeding for adult. I shall confirm that. And then she said it was revealed, but during the time where we preoccupied with the death of the prophet, it and she said, and the paper was with me under my pillow. Who's talking Aisha? And when the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death. 
and a time sheep came and ate it so is that Allah who caused you to forget that verse or it is the sheep What's the question? Hello, what do you mean with the question? The one who ate the Quran, it was a sheep. It was not Allah who caused you to forget the Quran. Where is the verse for a breastfeed for adult? And we have one Quran just show me where another one My friend, I just showed you, I just showed you Aisha confirming that there is verses eaten by the goat where we can find those verses breast feeding for adult my friend you cannot use a hadith, hadith why i cannot one. use a hadith uh, everything in islam is based on the hadith i want the answer where we can find this verse my friend my friend you use hadith to answer the quran and not use the hadith to, to see what Quran contains and not contains. My friend, we have a complete, we have the whole Quran, then you can check the Hadith. If you have any proof that there's another Quran that contains any verse that, uh, that doesn't contain it. My friend, time is up. What is the answer? Aisha, she said that there is a breastfeeding for adult Hadith and there is a, had a verse for stoning, for adultery. And the goat ate them. Where we can find those verses? This Allah is the one who caused you to forget them, or it was the goat? I will run the time again for okay, you. I will give you. I will give you a minute, my friend. I'm saying because the chief came in and ate uh, each this uh, the verses in the Quran, then the, the, those verses. Are you saying this? What are you saying? This? It is Aisha saying this, not me. Time is going. Okay, it's okay. Aisha, Aisha, my friend, not you, me. Don't accuse me. I wasn't there. Friend, you know, my friend, I am not the wife of your prophet. It was Aisha who said that. Aisha, the your problem with your with the mother of the believers. Are you saying Aisha is a are you saying Aisha is a liar? Are you saying Aisha is a liar? If Aisha is not a liar, it's me. She is telling the truth. Here we go. A goat. It, it is not Allah who calls. It's not Allah who calls you to forget the Quran. It was a goat. Yes or no? What memorize the Quran? It is you who just said to me. It is you who said to me. It, you see, you see, you keep saying, you keep saying to me stupid things. You say to me, we memorize the Quran, but you cannot recite the verse for me. Recite the verse for me where women been ordered to give their boobs to a stranger to suck it ten times. I want to practice that. I love this verse. I am so, I am so upset because the goat in this verse. I want this verse to go back to the Quran so I will convert to Islam and I want to practice it. I like this. I want to go from a Muslim house to a Muslim yeah. house to suck the breast of women because this is the order of Allah. Now, read for me the verse, please. Where, what is the verse where Allah, he ordered the Muslim women to give their boobs to be sucked by strange men for 10 times. I want to see it. I want to hear it. So are you saying Aisha, guys, guys, he said, he said there's no verse, he said, there, he said there's, hold on, hold on, hold on, you said there's no verse like that because the goat ate it, not because it's not, it doesn't exist. There is no verse like that even before, before. Okay, let me ask you, what is the punishment for a woman she is married if she have adultery? What is the punishment? What is the punishment for women? Let's change the topic. Let's change. What? What it is? What is the punishment for women who commit adultery? What is punishment? I'm asking you. You're the Muslim, not me. I mean, this is weird. <laughs> I am not a scholar. So, what are you, brother? What are you? You are discussing the Quran. If you are in truth, what is the punishment? That, what is the punishment? Okay. Quran, is it is true? Is it true in Islam? If a woman she committed adultery and she is married, the punishment is stoning to death. Yes or no? Yes. 
Okay, where we can find the verse of Estonia today? I don't know where, what, what is the, the punishment. What do you mean? You know, a second ago you told me. A second ago you told me the punishment is stoning. Now you are saying death, and now you are saying you do not know. Okay, you could take your time. Go. I don't know. My friend, you are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. There is no, there is no way. There is no way a Muslim. There is no way a Muslim. He did not hear until now. Are you telling me? Are you telling me you are a growing man? You are a growing man from Morocco. Until now, you never heard what is the punishment for adultery in Islam, for a married person. My friend. My friend. Open the Quran and show me where is the punishment in the Quran. It is, not, it is not in the Quran for married person. There's no the goat ate it as you see the I'm goat. Because, the, my, my my friend, the goat ate it. The, go, the, the goat the goat aren't you aren't you really with me? The goat ate it. We cannot find it. That's it, it's gone. Show it, show it to me. Really How I can show it to you? It, the goat ate it. It says in the front of you, Asha. She said that the goat is not a cow, by the way. Just be careful. There's no way. There's no. There is no way Allah will allow. There's no way Allah will allow the cow to eat. Allah will not allow the cow. Look here, guys. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. My friend, my friend, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop talking to yourself. Can you explain to me why the one who ate the Quran goat, but not a cow? Okay. Why is, is that a miracle? Do you think it's a miracle that it is a goat, not a cow? You see, you see, this is a weak argument. Do you know why? Because the Quran is memorized by hundreds of Sahaba. What memorized? Here we go. You see, what we discovered now, what we discovered now, you are lying. You, you, the piece says that the tafsir, you are the one who asked me to go. Because you, didn't you ask me to go to the seal and we found in the seal that, you that your prophet forgot the Quran? You lost your, your scripture that you lost your okay. Let me ask you. I have a question about the Bible. Do you mind? I have a question about the Bible. Is that okay? I'm not changing the topic. You don't want to talk about it. Here we go. I showed you the proof and you are denying. I, I respond to you. I, I, I tell you that the Quran is not, is not just a book. Okay. It's a Abdul, 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 let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Did Allah cause the Muslims to forget the Bible? What? Did Allah cause the Muslims to forget the Bible, the Injil? Allah, he sent the Injil to Jesus. Do you Muslim remember the injury? Yes. Do do you Muslims remember the injury? Remember what? The injil, injil. Allah He sent the injil to Jesus, right? To Isa. Yes. Okay. Where is the injil? Where is the injil? Did Allah cause you to forget the injil too? Huh? Injil is for the time of Jesus. Okay, yeah, okay, no problem. Guys, Injil is in the time of Jesus, no problem. But you say yes. that Jesus was a Muslim, correct? Yes, okay. So, are you saying that Allah He calls the Muslims who follow Jesus forget the Injil? Yes or no? no. What do you mean? No, okay, then, <laughs> then, then show me. The, then, if no, show me then the Injil which Allah He sent to Isa. I want to see it. If no, you said no. What? 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 No, no, no. Allah is Allah. It's Allah who sent you. You say. You say. You Muslims. You Muslims. You say Allah. He sent revelation. We memorize it. You claim. You claim that Isa is a Muslim, don't you? Is Isa is a Muslim or is a Hindu? My claim Isa is a. Muslim. Okay, as long as Isa is a Muslim, then. How come the Muslims they forgot the Injil of Isa? Explain to me. Because Allah and Jesus was sent just for uh, uh, for uh, for, uh, for uh, the Jews. Then the Jews corrupt the, the scripture after that. What Jews? Allah if Isa is a Muslim, if Isa is a Muslim, that means there's no Jews. They are Muslims too. So how Allah He made them forget the Quran? You, did you just say the Jews corrupt the the, the Injil? Did you say that? 
Well, well, Jesus. Did, did you say? Well, did, Jesus, did you just say? Did you just say that the, the Jews corrupted the Injil? Did you say that? It's not my friend. Mm. This scripture was lost. This, this is why why Allah set another prophet with another scripture to other to to people. This doesn't, yeah, my friend. Why, why, are, why are you are changing the topic? Allah, Allah. So are you saying? Are you saying Allah? He don't care for the injil. He sent the injil and he let it lost. He don't care. Why he let it lost? Because Allah. Hmm? Because what? Huh? Because what? Because do, you, do, you think, do you think? Do you think Allah? He sent. Do you think Allah? He sent the goat, the same as what happened to Muhammad, and caused it to eat the injil. Do you think the goat ate it too? The same as what happened to Muhammad Quran. The Quran is memorized my friend John. My friend, it's, it's you cannot my, my friend, you are a liar. You cannot you cannot recite for me the stone. Okay, recite for me, recite for me the stone into death verse. Recite for me, recite for me, recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding. You cannot recite it. Recite for me the stone into death. You cannot recite it. There is tons of verses. Omar al Khattab he said the Quran was a million and twenty-five thousand letter. Which means there's more than 80% of the Quran is eaten by the goat. More than 85%. The hadith report that the chapter of Al Baqarah used to be equal to Al Ahzab. His, his connection getting weak. Do you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Guys, is my voice good? For those who they are new in the video with us here, there is a link down in the info. Please click in it and download the video and share it around. It's a comedy show. Don't forget, please. It's a very comedy with that laughing. Share it around. My friend, I'll be back. Hello? Hello? My friend, the one who is with me in Skype, yes. say, Inshallah, that will make your... This is what I do always when I have internet. Say... Yeah. Okay. I'm doing, I'm doing. Say inshallah, say inshallah, that will fix your Quran. Now let us see if inshallah you can answer the question. Can we say that? Okay. Now why Allah, why Allah did not preserve the Injil of Isa? Here we go. The goat ate the Quran, we got that. How and what happened to the Injil of Isa? Did Allah cause the goat to eat it too? Do you think... My friend, my friend, your voice is cutting bad. I cannot hear you. Try to fix it. Close if you have uh, many browsers. Close them, guys. When the Muslim they say to us, the Bible is corrupt. Don't defend the Bible because they are talking about a guy. His name is Isa. Allah sent him a book. Yes, Muhammad. Do you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. Do you want to meditate or sleep, or do you want to meditate? My, my friend, oh, my friend, go ahead. What do you want to say? The, the gospel, the gospel of Isa, the gospel, the gospel of Isa. This is not the way to 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 debate. My friend, where we can find the gospel of Isa? Go ahead. I will tell you. God in the in the Quran, He promised Himself to preserve the Quran. And nowhere where in the Quran it says, where in the Quran it says, where in the Quran says that Allah He promised to preserve the Quran. So a zikr is what Allah He mentioned He will preserve, right? Correct? Yes. Okay. But isn't a zikr something came before the Quran? No. Zikr have two meanings Quran and Hadith. Okay, what if I show you that you are wrong? What if I show you are wrong? What you would do? Do you promise me that you will apologize? Huh? Show you? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. If we go here. It says in chapter 21, verse 105, The Zabur is a book came after the Zikr. How you say the Zikr is the Quran? Repeat it. Chapter 21, verse number 15. So how you say the Zikr is the Quran? 
You see, sometimes in the Quran we have the same, the same words with different meanings. What, what, what do you mean different meaning? My friend, a second ago I asked you where Allah He promised to protect the Quran. You said to me a zikr, and I asked you, are you sure you said okay, this? Okay. What is a zikr mean? Okay. What is a zikr mean? You said to me the Quran here and here it says okay. here is here here it says that this is was something, this is something, given before Musa's. Okay, okay. Are you are you saying the verse? Where he said, Don't talk about the Quran. Are you, is this what you are, what are you saying? You said to me, I said to you, What is the word of Quran? You said it is a zikr, correct? You said it is a zikr. Allah, Allah, he promised, Allah, he promised to preserve a zikr. He did not mention the word Quran. Okay, the Quran mentioned okay. that a zikr is a zikr, a zikr, a zikr is not the Quran. Obviously, it's in front of you. The translation says, Before, before this, we wrote in the psalm. After the message of Moses, so the zikr is okay. Go to go to any commentary or to commentary. You see, you Muslims are fabricate. You Muslims are fabricator. You are fabricating because Allah He said the word zikr. He did not say the zikr already. Are you saying to me that? Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that the zikr is a name for two books in the same time? It is sa. It is the sam. And it is, and it is the Quran in the same time. You see, sometimes when you want to go to school, you go. But when, when it, it, my friend, it's against you, you first, of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, Abdul, 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 and then as Zikr. It is you who, Abdul. Okay, you Allah call you Abdul. You are a slave of Allah. Come on, listen. So. Allah here he called this book. Allah Allah is the one who chose to call this book a dhikr. Why he chose that name if this is supposedly for the Quran? Allah made a mistake. He called the same book with one name for two books. This is the answer appreciation. We Muslims go to scholars to understand the Quran. Go show me what one. I asked you where in the Quran. You see, no problem. You can you can understand you can understand you can understand the Quran where you wish. So you have to admit that there's nowhere in the Quran it says that Allah will preserve the Quran. He says he will preserve the 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 the, the, the zikr, correct? And and this the zikr here mean Quran. Okay, hold on. But so here Allah made a mistake when he's saying that this is a book was given long before Islam because here he is naming the name of a book. How Allah he named the same the same how he used the same name for two books is that possible? This is, show, show me the, uh, someone and this single verse like you like Abdul you. Abdul does it say in the front of you that show Allah he her. gave he, Allah he gave he, he he written in the psalm after the zikr did he say that? Show me show me the verse. It's in the front of us on the screen, chapter 21, verse 105. A zikr here, a zikr here, obviously, it's a mistake. Allah, he made a mistake. You have to, you have to correct him, brother. So how he say, uh, uh, and we wrote, we wrote in the psalm after the message was given to Moses, which is that, is, is that a zikr? Why Allah is using a zikr? In this, in this case, a zikr is not, not the Quran. Because the Quran is not the Quran. Allah is using a zikr. It's not the Quran. Thank you very much, guys. It's not the Quran. So I ask you, where in the where in the Quran no, says no. protect? Where in the Quran it says Allah will protect the Quran? You say to me as zikr, and you now you admitted that the zikr is not the Quran. It is the book given to the Jews. My so friend, how you how you see, how friend, Abdul Abdul? You see, you got your you got your you got yourself busted. Allah He said He will protect the book. It's called a zikr. He did not say He will protect the book. It's called Quran. So the Quran mentioned to us, where is the book of Adhikr? It is a book sent long time ago, long time ago, before Muhammad was born, thousand of years before Muhammad birth. So this is cannot be the Quran because there is a thousand of years between Muhammad and no, this book. Friend, God used two words, the same two words with different meanings. Okay, listen, listen. No, okay, no problem, no problem. Let, let, us, let us move on. Let us move on. I, I, I prove my point. I, let us see. You know, I, I prove my point that you Muslims, you have no ground of what you say, that God ate your, your Quran. You cannot remember verses uh, uh, Aisha she mentioned. Or, 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 Omar al Khattab. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Did, did, Omar, did Omar al Khattab, Khattab mention that? The, 
Did, did Omar ibn al-Khattab mention that the Quran was a thousand, thousand, and twenty-five thousand letter? He doesn't mention that the Quran is different. What do you mean it doesn't matter? How many, how many letters, how many letters left of the Quran? I got confusion. How many letters left of the Quran? Today, how many letters have left? The Quran is in a light prophet him. In the but the prophet but you, but you Muslims in your books you say the prophet he forgot the Quran. No, my friend. What do you mean? No, I showed you the interpretation. Do you want to go? Here we go. Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Yes, I understand it, my friend. My friend, this is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Inna Nabiyakum sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uqri a Quranan thumma nasee. Do you see it? Don't tell me no. This is Ibn Kathir saying that. وقال ابن جرير حدثنا سواد بن عبد الله قال حدثنا خالد بن الحارث حدثنا عوف عن الحسن إنه قال قال في قوله أو ننسيها قال إن نبيكم صلى الله عليه وسلم أقرأ قرآنا ثم نسيه قال شو شو let me respond he said he said he ينسي نبيه كان الله تعالى ينسي نبيه ما يشاء وينسخ هو فرجته Allah, those prophets guys, did you hear? Did you did you hear what he said? He said that Allah, He caused Muhammad to forget the Quran. It's not Muhammad who forget the Quran, correct? Is that what you mean? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. So now the question. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What what is the reason Allah He caused Muhammad to forget the Quran? You just said Allah caused Muhammad because to forget the Quran. Why? Why? Because, Why? because he wants to. He wants him to relieve another verse that is come the after. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is many verses. There is many. There is many verses in the Quran. The Quran is full of verses. They are abrogated. Why Allah did not cause him to forget those verses, but He caused him to forget other verses? Why? This is the choice of Allah. Okay. Uh, now, what is the so what is the wisdom? So Allah, why Allah He need to forget those verses? Can't He send a new verse? Okay. What is the wisdom of causing me to forget the verses? And you are the one who said only Muhammad forget the verse, which means the Quran is not forgotten anyway. So what the point? Why He want only Muhammad to forget the verse? What that will do to Muhammad? That will make him look like a fool because everybody remember the verse except him. You are the one who said to me only the prophet he forgot the verse everybody heard you it's recorded so now that will make muhammad look like a fool man because he is claiming to be a prophet everybody remember the verse except he who is the first one who say it so how allah make me look like a fool prophet is the, is the only the prophet, prophet received from god and prophet teach his followers my friend how what, what my, friend, my friend my friend my friend if muhammad if muhammad if, listen listen if muhammad you are the one who said allah calls only muhammad to forget the quran so now muhammad he cannot teach the muslims because now the muslims are going to teach him about what he said before because the are they are the only one who remember the verse muhammad don't remember it so what is the wisdom of causing muhammad to forget the quran but the muslims still remember the quran show me where he said other the, the, the others person with muhammad don't forget it you are the one who said that to me i asked you in the beginning who Allah did Allah cause Muhammad? Me, Abdul, Abdul, don't tell me evidence. You are the one who said that to me. You, you, I asked you, I asked you guys, guys, didn't, didn't I? Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Guys, did I ask him? Did I ask him that Allah caused the Quran to be forgotten only to Muhammad or Muhammad and the Muslims together? And he said, only Muhammad? You said that. Now you're why, asking. Why now why now, it? now why, it's, it's recorded. It's recorded. It's in the video. People, they can go back. It's recorded, but you misunderstand it. What do you mean misunderstand it? What do you mean I misunderstand it? You said that. You said that. Answer me. I asked you the question. It's very simple. What do you mean misunderstand it? Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. So why you said to me? Why, why you said to me? Uh, when I said to you, when I said to you, Moroccan boy, listen. Why you said to me that when I said to you, did Allah make Muhammad forget the Quran alone or Muhammad and the Muslims? Just ask the other people, but you don't have any evidence. You, you have to bring me the evidence. I, 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 for me, I have the evidence. Here we go. I ask you to recite the chapter of. of a, I ask you to recite the verses of a breastfeeding. You do not know them. I ask you to recite the verses of the story to them. You do not know them. Abdul, you do not know them. You, you don't. You do not. You do not know them. You do not. You do not know them, my friend. You do not know them. Please face it. What do you say now? 
there is never just trust this. Okay, my friend, somebody is asking me in the text. He have a, he have a question for you. This is not my question. Okay, it's not a question. Yes. Somebody sent me a text in in uh, Skype, saying to me to ask you a question. He said he saw videos in YouTube about scientific miracles in the Quran. Is that true that there is scientific miracle in the Quran? Yes, yes, no. Can you, can you give him one? Huh? He is asking you, can you show us a scientific miracle yes. in the Quran? Is, you, if it's true. Yes. Okay. Okay. I will give you. Okay, give us one. You see, guys, you are asking us questions out of the topic, but I will let it go. No problem. He will give us one. We are waiting. <coughs> Drink honey, my friend. You see, I'm just smoking. This is the way you guys. You see, hmm. just mock, mock. This is this is this is. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not mocking. It's your prophet who mocking. Uh, your prophet, he calls smoking. You're a prophet. He call, you're a prophet. If you are against smoking, how you accept a follow, to follow a prophet? He called people the worst of the creatures, donkeys, and he called them pigs, and he called them monkeys. I mean, you are talking about mocking, but you follow Muhammad. Shame on you. Even your prophet, he said. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Did your prophet say it? If you raise. No, uh, Abdul, somebody showed to me a miracle that a guy. Abdul, Abdul, no, hold on, no, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Somebody, somebody showed me a miracle. He said there is a picture in the internet that there is somebody, somebody. He left his head before the prayer is finished, and Allah, he made his head a head of a donkey. Do you agree with this miracle? He claimed that what? somebody claimed he have a picture in the internet that because a guy he left his head up. Before the Imam finish uh, the prayer, Allah He punished him and He made his head as a donkey. Head of a donkey. Do you think he's lying? This picture is a lie, or it's true? We cannot judge if we are not present in this in this action. But is it possible Allah will make your head the head of a donkey if you raise your head before the Imam? What? Is it possible that Allah will make your head a donkey if you raise your head before the Imam finished the prayer? God can do anything, my friend. The power of God can do anything. Okay, so, you so, so, so you, be, you believe in this miracle? I, I, I don't know if it is happened, but God can, can with his power do anything. Okay, God can do with his... Okay. Are you saying after a, a one billion human being they pray? Not even one of them he made a mistake and raised his head before the Imam and Allah make him his head the head of a donkey? How come this is not happening yet? If Allah wants, if Allah doesn't want, he, he have the, the choice. Yeah, but the problem, your your prophet, he said Allah won't. Because if you go in the hadith, your prophet, he said that if you raise your head before the Imam finish the prayer, Allah will make his make your head the head of a donkey. This, 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 it's, it's not to, uh, to profit to decide what Allah does. Not right. It's not, not it's, it's not for the prophet, but the prophet said Allah, he decided already. He said to them, don't you fear that if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head ahead of a donkey? So Allah, Allah already decided, here we go, the height in the front of you. This is, this is my friend, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. And your prophet said, your, your prophet, your prophet said, your prophet said, if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. So, do you think your prophet was fabricating a lie? No, my friend. What you say? If Allah wants to, to, to do this, he wants to do this. What Allah, if he wants? He said, he did not say if Allah wants. He said, aren't you afraid? Aren't you afraid? Isn't he who raised his head before the Imam afraid that Allah may transform his head to, to, into a donkey? Which mean this is which mean this is a punishment for the one who raised what is the punishment for raising your head before the Imam finishes a prayer? Allah will make his head okay. Let me let me ask you, was Muhammad saying something truthful here or he's fabricating a fiction and stupidity? What kind of a prophet he said to his followers? 
If you raise your head, if you raise, what kind of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? He says such a thing that if you raise your head, Allah will make. You ask a question and you answer yourself. Are you are you sure? I am asking you. You are not answering, Abdul. You are not answering. Where is the answer? What? What kind? What kind of a prophet? What kind? Of, this is my question. You answer. You answer. You answer. No problem. I'm asking the question. What is? What kind of a prophet? He says such a stupid, silly thing that if you raise your head, Allah will make your head a head of a donkey. Answer. Let me, I will answer. The prophet used many, many, uh, many ways to to tell the people to, to tell the people how it, it is uh, this, this similar prophet uh, making this hadith. It is uh, to 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 make the other uh, the other people. It, it, I, I don't know how to say it. It's, uh, it's a different way to make the, those people afraid, and then he. Uh, he does this prayer with, uh, with a perfect, uh, a perfect way. It's not, it's, it's, it's a metaphor. You understand? Okay, guys, uh, listen, listen what he said. Did you hear him? He said the prophet is trying to scare them so they will, they will obey. So you're a prophet, fabricate lies. Yes. Fabricate lies. No, it's not a lie. So it's a lie. It's a it's lie. A you lie. just admitted that he is trying no, to. No. You are just saying he is trying to to scare them. The purpose is not to make their head as a donkey. He knew this is a lie, but he is just trying to scare no, them. No, my to, friend. Yes, no, you, you, say, you say, that Allah. My friend, you no, just say. You just say it's a lie. Why? Why are you making a, a word in my mouth, my friend? You just say that. You say. No, you just say. No. Everybody heard you. He is trying to scare them. This. You are. You are the one who said that. He is trying to scare them. My friend, they want to scare them, but you know that Allah has power to do it. Hmm? So why he chose the head of a donkey, not the head of a goat? Why he's saying Allah will make you? I mean, what kind of a prophet is trying to make people pray by saying to them something which is a lie? It's not a lie, my friend. Allah okay, can do but it. this is a threat, my friend. This is a threat. No, this is a threat. It's a lie. It's a. It's a. It is a. It is a lie. It is a lie. Here we go. Go and go and raise. Go and raise your head before the imam finish the prayer, and you will see nothing happen to you. There's tons of videos in YouTube. Because Allah, but, but, do you know why? Do you know why? 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 Because in the Quran, Allah says, listen, listen, I will tell you why. Mm. Because in the Quran, Allah says, mm. Allah never punish all people because they, they mistake me. <coughs> the punishment is in, in, in the higher aftermath. Okay, so, so guys, in the Quran, Allah, in the, in the Quran, Allah said Allah will never punish them. Okay, so you are saying you are saying that Muhammad is lying about Allah because the Quran says Allah will never punish those Muslims, but what Muhammad saying to them to the Muslims, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. So you are saying Muhammad is lying. He can do it. If he wants, he can do it. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you. If God He said to the Christians or the Jews or the Hindus or the Buddhas. I am going to destroy your faces. I will make your face, your, your nose go inside your head. And Allah, and he said to them, you have to believe in me. Do you think Allah will do his promise or he will not? If he wants. He will what do you mean he will? If he said, I will do that to you if you don't believe in me. This is obviously a threat. If I say to you, if you don't do that, I will do no this. Way. Do Allah mean it or he don't mean it? No way, do Allah mean it or not? If he says to you, I am going to destroy your face if you don't believe in me. Allah mean it or he don't mean it? If he, he wants to do it, he will do it. What do you mean he want to? Is that he, he just said he said he want to? He said he just said he want to. He said he will destroy us. He said that. What do you mean if he want to? So what's the point of saying I will send you to hell if you don't want to? Because Allah give him the time to 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 to, 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 to Let me show you. Let me show you another lie. Muhammad he said. Muhammad in the Quran. This is Quran now. This is not. This is, this is not hadith, guys. He didn't decide a time to punish you. Right, right. Here we go. No, he said. No, no. Abdul, 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 Abdul. Read with me. It says Muhammad is making an an immediate an immediate threat. Immediate threat. Now, now. He said to them. يا أيها الذين أوتوا كتاب آمنوا بما نزلنا مصدقا لما معكم من قبل قبل أن نطمس وجوها فنردها على أدبارها ونلعنهم. so your prophet and your god he threatened. where is Timo? where is Timo? where is Timo? what? you are a liar. why? where? a good say no. I will punish you no. it says he will make their faces. he will erase their faces if they don't believe now. now. yes. it says that. read with me. 
Abdul, read with me. It says, if you don't know, قبل أنان, قبل before, he's warning them, before I do it to you, which means it's coming. And this is what he did to the Jews. He is saying the same as we did to the Jews before you. So this is not about the judgment day. He did that to the Jews already. He is comparing what happened to the Jews is going to happen to them. And he said that we are going to make your nose go inside your head and your eyes will be flat and you will have no eyebrows and we will make you beyond recognition. He said, before you do it, believe now, otherwise we will do to you the same as we did to the Jews, the one we cursed them and we make them monkeys. And the Christian did not believe in Muhammad until now, including me. And Allah did not do anything on my face. Look at my face, how handsome I am. Girls, if I walk in the street, <laughs> honest, honest to they hear me, you know, actually, to the girls out from me. I am like, I'm like Muhammad and Zakir Naik. So, Can how Muhammad he says, what what the Christian, Christian and Muhammad, yeah, to the Christian time of Muhammad but my family Christian in the time of Muhammad Allah made his face as he described in the Quran can you prove can you prove he doesn't I don't know why people they are saying the voice is bad. Guys, this is YouTube. What I can you do. Hold on, people, they can't hear us. To me. Hold on, hold on. You guys are saying my voice is bad? My voice is not bad. It's not good. Hello? I don't know why. Honestly, I don't know why. I mean, I have nothing running and my speed is very good. So I think it is it is YouTube. It is his voice. What do you mean? His voice is bad. What I can do? What I can do? This is a connection. What I can do? This is the only Abdul is calling us. So my friend, can you name for me? Can you name for me one Muslim, one one a Christian? Allah, he made his voice beyond recognition. He took his he pushed his nose inside his head. Can you show me one? My friend, hmm. can you can you prove to me that he didn't? Well, because I, be, I, I can I can prove it easy. Because if this has happened, people they will write about it in the hadith in the history of no, Islam. No, show no, me one no, Muslim. Show me one. Show me one Muslim. Okay, hold on, hold on. Show me one Muslim. Show me one Muslim. Show me one time. Oh, hold on, hold on. Show me one Muslim. He witnessed that he saw in the time of Muhammad any of those Christians. Allah, he did that to him. Okay, if there is no one showing that, that doesn't mean ah, there is that if no that one saw, okay, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. Let us take a break. My, my head have a, have a headache from your voice. Like, call me like after 10 minutes. I will make some comments. Guys, he said if nobody saw it, doesn't mean it does not happen. <laughs> <laughs> Abdul. So if nobody saw it, doesn't mean it doesn't happen. So your God, he made a threat to the Christians, but yet he could not accomplish it. The Christian at this time, and that happened, you cannot show me. It. Okay, prove it to me that it happened. Prove it, prove it to me. There is no way that such a miracle, because this will be, this is will be amazing miracle. Show me one person in the time of Muhammad from the Sahaba said that the Christians been turned into pigs and monkeys, and Allah, he made their faces faces which cannot be recognized he pushed their nose and by the way did you hear the interpretation the interpretation says that Allah will delete our eyebrows and he will make our eyes flat and he will push our nose inside our head will come from the other side which is very nice and not only that our mouth will be locked we cannot even open our lips he will stitch it is that a horror movie at this time if no one so uh, if no one sees the events, then that, that doesn't make it, uh, doesn't make it, doesn't exist. Because uh, the Sahaba and both... My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, friend, my, friend, my, friend, my, friend my friend, my friend, my friend. Uh, uh, sorry, your internet is bad, and you are giving me a headache. Sorry. I cannot keep you online. I want you to prepare for me a scientific miracle and call me after 15 minutes. Is that a good guy? I want, I want you to talk. His voice is bad, but it's okay. What what we can do? This is the only Abdul we have. 
somebody asks you about the scientific miracle I want you to prepare for me the most amazing strong scientific miracle and call me and convert me to Christian to Islam. let's call him again what I can do okay Abdul how are you okay Abdul what's the what are you asking what are you talking about okay there's somebody asked you about the scientific miracle did you get one yeah, you give me one which one as long there's many give us one the best one okay we'll give it to you Guys, uh, uh, our friend here, Muhammad, is going to show us a scientific miracle in the Quran. Get ready. Please uh, choose something very strong, like something something nobody can refute. Very very strong. <clears throat> Most of the people who come to listen to me, they go to the gym, so they are really like strong stuff. Or even the women here, they go to the gym. Unbelievable, scary women. Did they find one? You see, I think I, I feel guilty now because I asked him for that because I'm afraid after he quote for you the verses which shows science and the Quran, you might convert to us now. I'm afraid because this will be very powerful. Just wait, it's coming. What are you doing? Are you looking at the end of the table, under the couch? Where are you going? We're waiting. Looking hmm? with this guy. He ain't got <sighs> who is a Muslim when I call us and show us scientific miracle in the Quran? Jesus said to drink poison, go drink it, tell CP drink poison. That's stupid of you to say so. The Bible says that read the verses, it says that nobody can harm you. Even if you drink poison, the poison of this earth, this is metaphorical, because we Christians, we believe that all the disciples of Jesus themselves get killed. And even Jesus himself was killed. So what poison you are talking about? Obviously, this is, have something to do with some different meaning. But it is your prophet, Abdul, who said, if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can affect you. And no magic. Which means magic even can be fought by Adwa. And then later we found that your prophet he died like a rat by poison. What do you say? Isn't it your prophet he said? How he said you it's a magic to eat I mean he eat Adwa every day, he eats this and he himself he died by the hadith, and this is the proof. The in element death died. He used to say, Oh Aisha, I feel that the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar at this time, as I, I feel as if my aorta is being cut off. Do you see it, my friend? So what happened? I don't know why the voice is gone. Maybe I need to stop broadcast. I will be back in a few hours. Maybe YouTube will be fixed. I think it's a YouTube problem. This is Google problem. What do you think, guys? I will come back. I will come back. Uh, you hear me now? Do you hear me now? Okay. So what we will do, guys, because the voice, we have a voice problem. We will come back after a few hours. Today is a Friday. So happy Friday, everybody. You know, and I have my I have more four my four wives waiting for me in the bedroom. We have to do like a lot of work, you know, to praise Allah. 
and I have to uh, do it equally, brother. You know, we as a Muslim, brother, when we have sexual relationship with our wives, we write in the paper in the side of the bed what we do. Like I kissed Fatima one kiss. I write it there. So when I go to the second wife, I kiss her. I look at the paper. Okay, I said the other, I kissed the other wife one kiss. So I will kiss the second wife one kiss. We have to do it equally, brother. All right. So we will be back, let us say, at 3.30 again, as usual. And I hope by then, Google will be better because obviously it is a problem from Google, not from my side. My speed is 117. So obviously it's very fast. There's no way it's from my side. Uh, again, there's a link down in the info, please. I just made this video. I did not load it in YouTube. It's in a Google Drive. I want everybody to click in it, download it, watch it, send it to his friend. Please. It is the best comedy show ever you see. Post it everywhere you can, in every Facebook you can. Don't post the link. Download the video and post it in your page. Let everybody see how the idiot hijab he destroyed Islam and he showed how stupid he is the same as the rest of the Abdul when he did debate David Wood it was a career destroying mistake this guy he claimed that he knew go watch the video and I will make many many of those just wait and we just started I will make you hijab the joke of every Muslim not every Christian only in that debate you did a lot of big poopo -poo. And you will pay for it thank you very much my friends for being here i will be back in a few hours and until then i say may the lord bless you and as you see no muslim can refute us and allah cannot answer us for allah is a false pagan god go and kiss your black stone and touch the two corners of the kaaba as muhammad said so you might your sin be forgiven a religion who is sin forgiven by touching stones cannot be from God who is one. Cannot be anything except a pagan religion. Stones don't forgive sin. Touching stones will not erase sin. Kissing stones is a pagan practice and you Muslims are nothing but pagans. Go and kiss the stone which is in the shape of a vagina because it was the vagina. And then tell us that Allah he protect the Kaaba when we know that the Kaaba was destroyed many times and even al qurmati he took the black stone and he made it as a poop stone for more than 21 years according to muslims and allah did not show up and then he says to us that in the chapter of the elephant allah he sent birds who carry rocks to destroy a christian army to destroy the kaaba you are right christian army who come with elephant elephant in the desert of saudi arabia i mean who is the stupid here an elephant he need at least 600 gallons of water to be able today he need to cover himself in water when it is hot in a desert where there's no water there's nothing but the sun and the sand he need tons of food army of elephant coming to mecca who is the stupid here see you in a few hours from now 3 30 p.m god is willing until then this is a Christian Prince. Wish you the best time with your family and your friends for Friday evening and for the rest of the night. And we will see you soon again. Thank you and God bless. See you soon.